Hello my soccer universe. Yes, I'm not very in Portugal. I decided the win yesterday was not all that convincing. And yeah, it's called today, so long sleeve shirt. France it is. Uh, they did win. And actually more convincingly than I actually thought, at least from what I could see. Um, let's get straight to uh, Portugal, Serbia and Ukraine, because that was basically the only really uh, exciting thing yesterday. And clearly, uh, we know that Serbia needed a win and Portugal couldn't uh, win if Serbia should qualify uh, and any other positive result uh, towards Portugal's favor would uh, secure Portugal's uh, passage. Well, um, well, let's do it kind of par parallel. In Serbia, uh, Belgrade, the Maracana was more or less empty. I think they were mostly school kids. I think a combination of sanctions, I honestly don't know, but I think it's a combination of sanctions and Serbian people not really believing in the chances anymore. Although, you know, this Ukraine team is an interesting one. Uh, and in Luxembourg, boy, there were many Portuguese people, because there's many Portuguese people living in Luxembourg. Luxembourg has even um, a, Benf a team named after Benfica uh, there and so on. So I mean, there's a, a weird connection between Luxembourg and Portugal and the pitch was atrocious. And uh, thanks to the pitch, I think actually Luxembourg kept the game quite even, if not being better uh, for the first 20 minutes. I mean, they had uh, more shots on goal than Port Portugal during that period. Portugal needed to adjust a little bit. Um, and while that was going on at the same time, Serbia actually, yes, they didn't have the spectators behind it, but uh, they went for it. And uh, Dusan Tadic got the 1-0 for, uh, Ser for Serbia. And uh, with a little bit like they could have made it 2-0. On the other side, they could uh, have a penalty been given from the rebound. Um, I think it was Jamolenko uh, hit the post. So it was an open game, and um, with the result in Luxembourg at that moment, Serbia would have been quite qualified, but um, a cross came came in that was in a way poorly defended, although it was a nice cross, and it's 1-1 uh, at the thir in the 30th minute. So a, bell, a Serbian glory lasted for about uh, 20 minutes. And then it's even more um, put... Uh, away because Portugal with a nice pass of Bernardo Silva uh, makes it 1-0 uh, finally. It, it was not really coming that one but yeah it came and Portugal uh, Bruno Fernandes made the uh, goal 2-0. Second half Serbia right off the bat gets the lead again uh, uh, through Mitrovic, who was a constant threat in the 56th, again from a um, Tadic uh, assist. And so um, we have Serbia in front, and now everyone in Serbia is probably hoping for a goal in Luxembourg, not really coming. I mean, Luxembourg tries, but um, Portugal was just a better team. In the end, Ronaldo taps in, although I think it was over the line already. I really think it was over, over the line when he touches the ball, but whatever. Ronaldo is credited with uh, the goal in the 86th, seals the deal for Portugal. And it doesn't really help, so uh, then, you know, I think the result was known. They were, uh, Serbia was also a little bit ahead, and uh, Bezenin makes it 2-2, so Serbia doesn't even get the win, and therefore uh, we have that this group ends with Ukraine 20 points on top, Portugal gets uh, 17, Serbia only 14 and is eliminated, Luxembourg and uh, Lithuania were out, but not Luxembourg is in fourth spot. Um, then of the late games, I actually fo didn't follow them as closely, but I had both uh, Kosovo, England and Bulgaria, Czech Republic um, on. The England game is fast told, it was even for most of the time. And then uh, shortly before the half in the 30 seconds, from a nice pass from Oxley Chamberlain, uh, a Winks is free and can slot it home. 1 0 for England, and you didn't really have the feeling that uh, this is going to change. I think it was also the last time that England is playing in the World Cup jerseys. 
for uh, probably and I think um, Kosovo has new jerseys so that's their fifth jersey that they wore in this qualification campaign they had a blue they had a yellow then they had the special one against England away then they had a new one uh, at the Czechs and now they have another new one so five there Speaking of jerseys, what the Czechs were wearing against Bulgaria, yes, I've seen that kit before, uh, that was a better goalkeeper jersey. As a goalkeeper jersey, this would be right. As an outfield jersey, this uh, neon minty green with black accents, and there was no need for it to play against Bulgaria because they could have well played in red, or red and white and blue. I actually, it annoys me a little bit that the Czechs are not going back to that combination because I really like that one. But yeah, uh, I think it was mostly an open game from what I could see. And kind of surprisingly, uh, Bulgaria was in the game. Again, uh, only school kids were there. Uh, Bulgarians also don't, you know, with all the sanctions uh, speaking and so on. Uh, Bulgaria gets the win uh, after Afrika. Bozikov makes it 1-0 for Bulgaria. And actually, that means Bulgaria does not finish last in the group. Uh, it also, as you'll see, helps Austria a little bit in the ranking uh, for the pots because the Czechs only finish with 15 points and England uh, wins uh, 7 out of 8. Completely dominates on top. And then the late games, I only saw the first half and not even that because I was watching NFL uh, between France and Albania. And I have to say I was uh, kind of impressed how France I thought this will might be a triple game because France is not that great, but that one they took seriously and totally so after eight minutes made it already uh, one nil. Nice assist by Griezmann and then Griezmann himself in the thirty first makes it two nil and they hang on and that's that. So France wins that group, uh, meaning they could uh, get a first uh, pot. Uh, slot we'll see. It's not very likely. Turkey also wins two nil at Andorra. And Iceland wins 2-1 in Moldavia, Moldavia, so in that group we have France and Turkey 25 and 23, Iceland 19 and Albania 13 and Andorra, I want you to note, finishes for the first time uh, in not in last place with 4 points, 1 win and 1 draw, pretty impressive performance there. Quickly, on the pots again, uh, we... This is how things stand at the moment. Um, and we know that we have to take out the sixth place team. So if we rectify this, it's also not quite perfect because, you know, some teams have played eight, some teams have played seven. At the moment, France swoops ahead of Germany and Spain uh, in the ranking and into uh, pot one. However, it would need uh, a German loss and uh, Spain not winning to uh, for France to stay in pot one. Turkey stays in pot three and will most likely be a pot three team. However, now let's make this a little bit more even with projections and we will see that uh, France pretty much has guaranteed a place in pot two. Uh, they will be the best team in pot two, most, 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 most likely. Uh, so uh, they at least have that. Um, and Turkey yeah, will be a pot 3 team, as will Portugal most likely be. Uh, Netherlands and Russia, they cannot uh, overtake, so Portugal only pot 3, that is kind of the nuclear option for the draw. Uh, speak, speaking of which, you know, I fill in again uh, the slots from the playoffs based on the teams that qualify here. Yes, Hungary still qualify according to those projections. As I said, I think Wales will do it. We have, I fill in, Iceland, Wales, Serbia and Kosovo. And then we can make a draw and again we first assign uh, home teams to uh, their groups. So we have uh, Italy uh, in Group A, Russia, Denmark in Group B, Netherlands in Group C, England in Group D, E, Spain, F, Germany and Hungary, if it stands like that. Then uh, we don't need to draw uh, pot one because uh, Ukraine cannot play with Russia, so they grow, go in Group C and Belgium in Group B. That was easy. And then we can have a full draw. And again, I had some fun with that one. I assigned from pot two uh, Croatia to Italy, France to England, Poland to Spain, and Switzerland to Germany. So all interesting here. From uh, pot three, Turkey goes in Group A, Portugal. Group C, that's an interesting one, Ukraine, Netherlands, Portugal. 
So, uh, Sweden goes to group D, Austria to group E, and the Czechs go through to group F. And then let's finish the draw out. And I will put Wales in group A. Again, all random draws. Kosovo in group B, Serbia in group C. That's Portugal, Ukraine, Serbia would all be reunited in that group with the Netherlands. Finland in group D, Iceland in group E, Austria and Iceland again. And the Hungarians were already in there. So uh, that's where things stand. Uh, very quickly uh, on the playoffs, how I see them uh, work out. Not necessarily how I projected here in the draw. That's unfortunately two different things. Uh, not much did change there uh, so far. I think the only thing that would really put a change in there is, for instance, if Ireland would uh, take out Denmark, uh, then Denmark would swoop into the Group B uh, playoff in the uh, slot Slovakia. So they would go uh, in, in B2, would have a home game. Bosnia has a home game against Northern Ireland. Uh, of course, uh, anything concerning Slovakia, Hungary and... Wales also can have a direct impact at the moment. I think Wales is in there. Should Slovakia be in there, then uh, Wales goes into the group uh, in the League B playoff. Should Hungary go in there, then a whole lot will change because then uh, one of those, Northern Ireland, will move into the League A playoff. So there is quite some stuff that can happen. However, uh, as direct qualification sp uh, slots are open uh, tonight, we have Switzerland and Denmark uh, taking it out, and then uh, on Tuesday we have Wales uh, playing against Hungary, and we know win Wales, uh, loss for Wales will mean Hungary if they win, and a draw most likely will see Slovakia through. Anyway, let me know what you think or thought about yesterday's games and everything going on with qualification process and so on. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.